Scala FX has three different types that you can use to give the GUI a fairly simple way of having the user select items from a list. These different types are the combo box, the list view, and a type called choice box. Uh, we're going to cover the combo box and list view because it turns out the combo box, the sorry, the choice box is almost identical to a combo box. It's optimized for short lists, but the combo box works well for short lists too. Uh, and the choice box is a little bit harder to use, so there's really no point in going to use it. I've started a file called selection controls that does our imports, creates the app, creates the stage, adds a title, and adds a scene, and then adds a label in there that gives us the, the feedback that we're going to want to have when we add interactivity. You've seen this basic template of code written in quite a few other videos, and I didn't want to spend time in this video writing all of that out. We want to focus on the new stuff. So as I said, this choice box we're not going to bother to put in because it really doesn't add anything that the combo box doesn't already give you and it's a bit more complex to use. So we're going to go ahead and create a combo box. Combo box equals new combo box. And when I create a combo box, I can pass it the different choices that we want to have available on that in the form of a sequence. Um, so how about we do combo one, combo two, combo three, that should work nicely. Sufficient for us to see how this actually works. And we'll position it. Combo box dot layout x equals 20. The y value will be 50. So it's down below the label. And we can add it in here. Okay. To check that, we can run this. Whoop. Oh, well, since I'm not going to use the choice box, I actually don't need to have the observable buffer. Label dot. Oh, then it's not offset, it is layout. Layout x and layout y. Okay, that appears to be happy. And so this is what a combo box looks like. It has a drop down and we can select things from the combo box. Uh, it turns out that you can actually set this to be a value that's not in the list if you're so inclined to do so, but if you have to do that programmatically. If the user is going to select something, it has to be one of the elements from the list. That gives the list as a drop down. What if you want the user to be able to see lots of the elements all the time? Well, that's where a list view comes in. So list view equals new list view. Just like with the combo box, we can make this by passing it a list. Option one. Even though it doesn't matter, I still want to actually spell those things correctly. Option two. Option three. The quotes do matter to Scala. And we'll go ahead, option. Actually, why don't we do it this way? List dot tabulate. And I'm going to make it so there are quite a few of these. There will be 20 elements inside of this list view. And the function will be I rocket option plus I plus one. Okay, so I'll make a list view with a bunch of elements in it. Let's set it off to the side. List view dot layout x. 
will be, I made this 600 across, so let's put it at 300. The Y will just be at 20, so it'll be at the top of the window pretty much. And we can add that in, see what it looks like. List views by default are typically quite large. We'll probably want to resize that a little bit. Do I have, yep, my original declaration, I am missing an I. Which Scala doesn't care about other than we have to be consistent. Hmm. Why do I not feel like, oh, there we go. I didn't change the X to a Y. <laughs> so I moved it over and then I moved it right back. Okay, here we have a list view. It has the elements in it. It's going down below the window. We can fix that by giving it a preferred height. List view dot pref height equals, well, it's starting at 20. Our whole window only goes to 300. So 260 would have it end 20 from the bottom. We run it. And there we go. And you can see that it actually automatically gets a little scroll bar and the user can see however many things there are here. So this shows you how to create and put into our GUI combo boxes and list views. We'll come back and we'll work on making them interactive.